Good morning, guys. Today is a classic BD drift breakdown, and I want to focus mainly on almost two runs, a total of four. Realistically, two comparisons um, because even mid-season, um, there was still a long way to go and a lot to improve on. And I think it's so drastic in these next couple clips that you'll see such a big difference when it comes to throttle control. For the clips that were older, you'll see me being very inconsistent with throttle, lifting often, not as much as when I first started, but still, there's always room for improvement. The following clips are from events months later. And it's so amazing to see that just with seat time, just with practice, just with knowing the correct line to take, and even if you... And what I found is, I, during the events earlier in the year, I felt comfortable. I felt that I was doing well, but it just shows that even when you are you think you're okay, there's always room for improvement. I remember thinking just getting around the track is, is a win, and towards the end of the season, um, just cons being consistent, getting higher entry, higher speed entries, and it's just, you evolve, you, you get better, and it's really, really cool to be able to literally see side by side just the trans, trans, transformation in my driving capabilities. Of course, I want to share with you guys. In the first clips, you can see inconsistent throttle as well as horrible line choices. Just kind of following the road rather than setting up for the next turn. You'll see the difference. So let's go through this bad stuff, this bad footage. As you can see, I believe this is one of my first runs on the front track in the dry, classified as B-Class. One of my favorite days, uh, day I met Adam LZ. Day, first day my mom went drifting with me, not with me in the car, but with me to an event. And you can see our entry was okay, not too bad, but I just lifted. I wasn't, con I wasn't setting myself up for the next turn. I was just kind of going through the turns. You hear me lifting a lot and trying to overcorrect with my steering. And even though I didn't spin out, I was still not consistent in throttle control nor picking the correct line. You can see that I struggled through that course and didn't quite, so to speak, touch all the clipping points, outer zones, etc, etc. It's such a drastic change. So for this next one, you see I'm way heavier in throttle, almost at max angle coming out of the turn, full throttle into the next, and then just lifting just a hair, just enough to scrub speed and bring myself around. And yet I almost never lift. I just let the car transition, transition around the turn. If I feel that I'm coming in hot, I lift a hair instead of lifting all the way coming around the turn. This is probably one of my smoothest runs even though I wall tapped at the last second. But just 95% throttle is the money spot. You don't want to be max throttle. You just want to be that 90 to 95. And it's, I want to pause right here. I just, it's just amazing. So the first event, the first clip was from June. The second clip I believe was September. So from June to September, that's how much I improved. So what is that? June, July, August, September. So in three months, no, 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 that was July 1st. That was three months worth of drifting, probably four or five events in between. So in four months slash, or I'm sorry, three months slash four events, I was able to get better at throttle control and as well as understand what line to take. And that all comes just from driving. I did a little bit of research, but I wasn't really researching that track because I was always going to different tracks. I never went to, I don't believe I went to a track back to back. So I didn't ever, this whole season, I didn't stay at the same track for more than two events. So unless if it was like a two day. So I always switched it up. I always kept it fresh and not towards the end of the season did I return to those tracks. Pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie guys. And today again, I just want to focus on almost two runs and just show you guys that 
consistent throttle leads to success when driving because it'll allow you to make minor adjustments with the steering wheel and be more controlled and have a little bit more confidence. Your car will come around and nothing bad's gonna happen. You want to be, have full commitment because when you hesitate, that's when bad things happen. Hesitation is the key to failure. I'm hitting you with some inspirational. All right, I don't know how I'm gonna fill that gap, but let's start. So this next clip is that Ready, Set, Drift. Ready, Set, Drift is in Pocono and it's a road course, obviously, but it was my first time at Ready, Set, Drift ever. I mean, not e didn't even know what the track layout was. Um, first couple runs, this is later on in the day. This is probably my, not my smoothest run, but I wanna show you how I was just going through the course and not preparing myself for the next turn. So I would just kind of, if it was an S, I would draw the full S. I wouldn't hit inside, inside, clip outside to transition to the next. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So my, I don't know what run it is, but it's midday. So you see I manji just barely. I take it way too wide. And then again, I just following the course where I'm just carrying out these S's. To link that section, you can't, do that so not bad not even horrible just I could pick a different line a off throttle controls okay a little better it was a little later in the season and you can see my car jerking a lot back and forth again all room for improvement See, we thought that was good, but little did we know. Later on in the season, <laughs> this is my last event at Ready, Set, Drift. Way higher in the throttle, almost full throttle, 95%. As you see, let me back it up real quick. This is the line you wanna take. Go back to use the first turn and hug it shallow. So you don't wanna go super wide on that turn. You want to basically point your car in between the pex pexies. Apexes, not apexes. Shoot for right in the middle and touch. Again, this is not perfect, but aim for the apexes. So that way you get yourself out, outside enough to get yourself around without manjian. And I didn't learn this for a while. It took me a while. I'm still not good at it. I feel confident for next year, but I wasn't perfect. But you can see way more throttle. You can see such a big difference in throttle control, line selection. Everything in between, it's amazing. And I really just wanna focus on those two runs only because I don't want to go, I wanna give you guys real deep detail. I wanted to give you guys real deep detail and I want you guys to understand what I mean and not get lost in run after run after run. Over this off season, I'm gonna kinda of break down different things I did wrong different things I improved on. Since it's the off season, I don't want to break down a specific event. I wanna pretty much break down a specific technique. So this one is throttle control. And throttle con better throttle control will allow you to set yourself up for better lines. But then again, hey, what do I know? I'm just learning. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I know this is a short one and I usually do five, six, seven runs. But I just want you guys to know if you're driving, make sure you get yourself comfortable staying in that 90 percentile that 90 percent 95 percent every once in a while full throttle you know what i'm saying a little little left foot break a little full throttle banger i'm excited i can't wait for this off season to end so we can shred with friends that rhymed that guys i'm going to leave you i love you much and post in the comments below if you have any questions Soon I want to do a, uh, some type of BD drift breakdown. It may not be for a while because I want to get some supporting voices in here to talk about the difference, how driving with a low powered car improves your driving skills. I've been writing notes, I've been writing my a thesis behind it and my ideas and how it makes sense for me, but I want to get some opposite opposing sides and my a couple buddies or anyone that agrees i want to hear their thoughts so in the future get yourself ready for a bd drift breakdown 
a Brazil date down talking about low powered cars. We found out this year my car only pushes around 250 and I'm pretty pumped about that. I'm happy that I'm, I was able to learn with not crazy horsepower because it only helps you in the long run. Less horsepower you make, the better skills you obtain. But some may say different. What are your thoughts? Post them in the comments below. I am going to leave you with that. Let me know if you like this format. Do you like me picking out specific items when driving? Or do you like me going through a full event and breaking down every single run? Because I have two events I never broke down. But I enjoy being specific. That way you guys, it's kind of like a, a course on a specific event. Throttle control is huge. I think throttle control is probably one of the main factors when driving. I want to say number one. But some may beg to differ. Holla at your boy, guys. We love you so much. I don't know when this video is coming up. This is going to be my December save. If I don't have a video for a night, this is going out. Or I might just put it out tomorrow. Usually, I will probably just put it out tomorrow. Let me know what you think. We love you. Daily videos are coming back. If you guys didn't know, month of December, we are going to be uploading daily. Getting it daily. Make sure you guys are checking out BecauseDaddy.com. A lot of cool gear. A lot of cool stuff coming. New Drive Filthy shirts are on their way right now. Holla at your boy. Thank you so much for all those who support me on a daily basis. We love you. Happy Forican Afara. Uh, it's tomorrow Friday? Thursday. Thursday. With that, I leave you. I feel like I'm a radio host sometimes. All right. Love you guys. Happy Friday. Happy Thursday. Whatever I post this. Blah, 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 blah. Nothing's ever made me cry as much as you, I swear Your smile gives me motivation and some new ideas My worst fear was always you not knowing who I am Cause I've been on the road dream chasing for you out here I was the first thing that you opened your eyes to and the last one that you said goodnight to, I went home and cried to And I bawled my eyes out and then watched you, glad I got you, that's a blatant fact And every negative thing I said, I swear I'll take it back